Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up Internet Explorer. Uh, before I show you the steps, I just want to let you know that I have another video on how to speed up your internet just by changing some settings on Windows, uh, another one on how to speed up uh, Google Chrome, and one more on how to speed up Mozilla Firefox. Uh, hopefully those videos will also help you out in order to get a faster uh, web browsing and internet experience. Um, but for now, let's just get into how to optimize Internet Explorer. So first, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Okay, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change some settings in the top right corner. Um, go ahead and click the Tools, and then scroll down to Internet Options. Go ahead and press Internet Options, and you should see a uh, window pop-up called Internet Options. Uh, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the home page. Uh, now, as a general rule, you want Internet Explorer to have to deal with as little as possible. So, uh, you want to make sure that Internet Explorer has as few home pages as possible. You can type multiple home pages, which will, make sh which will mean that Internet Explorer will load uh, multiple web pages as soon as it starts up, but that will slow it down. So, what you want to do is uh, remove as many of them as possible until you have maybe only one or two left. Uh, again, you want as little as possible. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is under browsing history over here, uh, we're going to hit delete. Uh, and another window is going to pop up called delete browsing history. And uh, you're going to see there are a bunch of checkboxes that you can choose from. And these checkboxes refer to um, other types of temporary internet files that aren't necessary, but Internet Explorer is going to keep them uh, just to refer to. And uh, when Internet Explorer is referring to these and um, loading them it's going to slow it down so you want to keep it uh, communicating with as little as possible so you're going to go ahead and remove all of these uh, go ahead and hit delete and that'll remove all of the temporary internet files cache uh, cookies and your history as well so go ahead and delete that and uh, that should get rid of any unneeded uh, unneeded you know junk that's um, slowing down Internet Explorer uh, then what we're going to do is um, we're going to hit settings also under browser history and then uh, under temporary internet files you want to make sure that it's uh, uh, checking for new versions of stored pages um, every time I start Internet Explorer so it's going to check for new uh, new versions of stored pages every time you start which is going to slightly reduce the startup speed but it's going to uh, increase your browsing speed in the long run because it'll always have the newest version of your stored pages and that's extremely important. So you want to make sure it's on every time I start Internet Explorer. If you set it to never or automatically, it might cause Internet Explorer to be slightly more unstable. Um, in disk space to use, um, as you can see under recommended, the top limit is 250 megabytes. You can put more, but it recommends a maximum of 250. And uh, go ahead and type in 250 because you want to make sure that it can use a decent amount of disk space and it doesn't get clogged up with very little. Um, so go ahead and type 250 over there. Uh, that's all we're going to do. Go ahead and press OK. And uh, the next tab we're going to go to at the top of Internet Options is Connections. So go ahead and press on Connections. And then at the bottom, uh, under Local Area Network, go ahead and press the LAN Settings button. Uh, then, as you can see over here, under Automatic Configuration, there is a checkbox for Automatically Detect Settings you want to make sure that that is unchecked unchecked so go ahead and uncheck that right now um, and then press OK the next thing you're going to do is go to the programs tab and uh, under manage add-ons press manage add-ons um, you'll see another window pop up called manage add-ons and the first tab you want to uh, make sure you're at is toolbars and extensions so toolbars and, and extensions are add-ons that you can put on Internet Explorer and they'll do certain functions and sometimes they can be useful. But if you have too many of them and you're not using them, uh, they're just unneeded things that can slow down Internet Explorer. Because once again, Internet Explorer has to communicate with all of these in order to function. If they're disabled uh, or not there at all, then Internet Explorer will not need to communicate with them so it can do other tasks such as load web pages even faster. Uh, so you want to disable whatever you can. Uh, if you're not sure what something does, go ahead and leave it enabled because um, uh, disabling certain things can make it hard to view videos or um, uh, run JavaScripts on the Internet. So basically, if you're not sure, go ahead and enable it. Leave it enabled. 
But if you are sure and you don't use it often, go ahead and disable it because that's just unneeded things um, the Internet Explorer has to deal with. In order to disable something, right click it and press disable. So as you can see, I, uh, I've disabled things such as link, click to call because I know I don't need it and I definitely don't use it at all. But I've, leaved, uh, I've left Java enabled because I know that I need that in order to um, run Java scripts. Uh, you're going to skip over search providers and the next thing you're going to move on to is accelerators. Uh, accelerators is kind of the same idea as um, toolbars and extensions. You want to have as little as possible. Uh, accelerators can sometimes help out by uh, preloading data to certain web pages. So you might have a YouTube accelerator and that'll have your YouTube uh, data preloaded um, in case you access YouTube. And that'll make YouTube loading a little bit faster. So if you want to go ahead and get accelerators, you can uh, press on find more accelerators. But for the most part, you want to keep your, keep your accelerators cleaned out um, because they're really more harm uh, than good because um, they'll, they'll store things that you really don't need. So go ahead and clear all of them out because uh, they're not useful and they're just more things the Internet Explorer has to keep track of. Okay, so we're done with the manage add-on screen. Uh, go ahead and hit close. And then that's all for internet options. So we're going to press apply and then OK. The next thing we're going to do is um, we're going to clean out our favorites. So favorites, once again, is just uh, other pieces inf of information that Internet Explorer doesn't need. Sometimes favorites can be useful to you if you need to see what you favorited in the past. But for the most part, just go ahead and get rid of what you don't need. So in order to access your favorites, click the star up here and then uh, over here there should be a tab called favorites and here you'll have a list of all your favorites um, you can go ahead and clear out what you don't need and if you don't use favorites at all go ahead and clear everything out because uh, it'll make Internet Explorer even faster if it can not have to deal with loading these uh, favorites um, alright so go ahead and right click whatever you don't need and then just press delete to remove the favorite um, so do that and clean out your favorites to leave as little as possible because, again, you want to cut it down to the bare minimum so it doesn't have to um, slow Internet Explorer's loading down. All right, uh, go ahead and close that. And that's actually all we're going to do within Internet Explorer. There's one more thing we're going to do, and that is we're going to add some keys to the registry. In order to do that, go to the Start menu or Start screen, depending on which version of Windows you're using, and then type in RegEdit. Uh, then you're going to see an application show up. Right-click it and run as administrator. It's important that you run it as administrator, otherwise what you're going to do may not work. All right, so you're going to run it as administrator. As you can see, I have it opened up here, but I'll close it back down so that you can see uh, how I do it. Um, all right, so your registry will probably look like this. You'll see this on the left side. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to press the arrow next to H key, underscore current user. Uh, then you're going to press the arrow next to software. Uh, next you're going to press the arrow next to Microsoft. So right over here the arrow next to Microsoft and then the arrow next to Windows. So scroll down and um, see Windows right over here. And then the arrow next to current version and then you're going to press on Internet Settings. Just click it once. Um, and then on the right side over here, you're going to add a new value. As you can see, I already have them, but I'll show you how to, um, how to add them. So you won't have the values. I'm going to go ahead and delete them, and I'm, uh, we're going to add them now. So right-click, press New, D-Word, D-Word value. You want a new D-Word value. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to type in Max Connections Per Minute. Uh, per server, sorry, per server, and uh, it's important that you type it just as I have typed it, so um, capitalize the first letter of each word, but don't have any spaces, so that's going to be the name. Go ahead and uh, press somewhere else to close it and create the value. Then you want to double-click it, and uh, there's going to be a, a window f for you to edit the D-word value. Uh, you're going to make sure that the base is decimal and that the value is 10. So go ahead and type that in and then press OK. Uh, we're going to add one more value, new, D word value again, and then max connections, oops, max connections 
uh, let's see, connections per, and then you're going to do one underscore zero, max connections per one underscore zero server. Uh, go ahead and click outside to create the value, double click it, and again we're going to do the same thing. Change the base to decimal and make sure the value data is 10. Then press OK. Uh, while you're doing this, remember to have clicked Internet Settings once because that's a common mistake you, may, you might make to create the value in the wrong place. Um, so you're going to follow that directory and uh, I'll, I'll have that directory in the description how exactly to get to Internet Settings. Then you're going to right click here, New D Word Value. And then you're going to create the uh, values just as I have created them. Okay, then you're going to close the registry editor. And uh, in order for those changes to take effect, you have to restart your computer. And uh, what those will do is it'll allow you to download multiple things at once, whether they're big files or just small little connections that Internet Explorer is trying to make. Um, so go ahead and restart your computer, and hopefully all of these things together will make uh, Internet Explorer, your Internet Explorer browsing a much faster and smoother experience. So I hope this video helped you out. Um, please leave a comment, and thank you for watching.